Hello everyone, welcome to Biopundi, your one-stop comprehensive bioinformatics training platform. I am delighted to introduce myself as a, your very own Mahapandi. Today, I am going to talk about Ramachandran plot. The secondary structures that polypeptides can adapt in proteins are governed by hydrogen bonding interactions between the electronegative carbonyl oxygen atoms and the electropositive amide group hydrogen atoms in the backbone chains of the, of the protein molecule. The purpose of Ramachandran plot is to show us the sterically permissible configurations of amino acid dietetical animals allowed when in biological proteins. These configurations are expressed in terms of phi and shy angles of the amino acids of the polypeptide chain. Why these two angles? Well, to understand that, you need to watch our video on dihedral torsion angles of amino acids. Here, we have shown a diagram of a Ramachandran plot for you. Now, before we discuss about the theory, let us do something by hand. Let us plot the values of phi and psi angles for a globular protein. The steps of doing so are very simple. We can obtain the atomic coordinates of a protein from protein data bank. We, can, uh, we are going to use yeast hexokinase. Using structure, we can estimate the phi and psi angles for individual amino acids and then we can plot. Observe this Ramachandran plot carefully, guys. What do you see? Exactly, there are large areas where there is no examples of certain combinations of phi and psi. There are no data points. Why is this so? Now, you know that atoms take up space like everything else, and two atoms cannot occupy the same space at the same time. Covalent bonds connect them and these bonds cannot be broken. So, the movements that we are concerned with involve rotations only. And we have seen previously that there are only two angles that rotate in a given residue, phi and psi. But not all combinations are possible due to physical clashes of atoms in three-dimensional space. These physical clashes are called steric interactions and the limit the available values of phi and psi. So, which phi and psi combinations are spherically favorable and which are not? Well, let us find out, guys. See, we have enlisted two extreme cases here when phi and psi angles are between 0 and 180 degrees. You can easily see that uh, for core formations defined between a psi angle between 0 and 180, there is no steric index. For psi being 0, two small hydrogens of the two successive amide groups come closer, while for psi being 180, one amide group hydrogen faces the carboxyl group oxygen. But it is not the same for phi. You can see that when phi is 0, two big oxygen atoms from the two successive carboxyl groups face each other, which causes a steric hindrance. So, phi equal to 0 angle is not actually permissible. Now, let us see more complicated cases. We set one angle to 0 degree and vary the another. Let us first set phi to 0 and vary psi. Observe that when psi is near 0, we have very serious steric clashes between the two amino group hydrogen and the carboxyl group oxygen. What does it mean? It means when phi is near 0, psi values near 0 are not, permis are not, are not permitted. Now, if psi is near 180, we again have very serious steric clashes between the two oxygen atoms of the carbonyl groups of the two successive amino acids. Therefore, again, when phi is near 0, psi values near 180 are not permitted. See, guys. For any value of psi other than 0 and 180, 
there would be significant steric clashes between the two carbonyl groups of the two successive amino acids. So this means no conformation associated with phi equal to zero is permitted. So if these rotations are disallowed, they must rule out some regions from the Ramachandran plot. What are those regions? Now see guys, we have highlighted the unpermitted regions from the Ramachandran plot that are due to these steric clashes. These unpermitted regions are of extreme importance and you must keep them in mind as we progress our discussion. Obviously, you can see some data points located in these, in these unpermitted regions as well. Please keep in mind that these are generally modeling errors of the crystal structure. Now, let us set psi to 0 and vary phi. Observe that when phi is near 0, we have some steric clash between the amino group hydrogen and the carbonyl group oxygen. So, simply speaking, conformations characterized by both phi and psi being 0 are not permitted. If phi is near 180, we again have some steric clash between the amino group hydrogen of the two successive amino acids. However, since hydrogen atoms are very small, these classes are not that serious. See guys, for any value of phi other than 0 and 180, there would be some steric clash between the amino group nitrogen of one amino acid and the amide group hydrogen of the other. Again, since hydrogen atoms are small, these classes are not that serious but they would rule out some small regions of the Ramachandran plot. Man, so much steady clash. So, what if I combine all these disallowed regions into one? Let's do that guys. The total formidable region for the combinations of phi and psi angles for the backbone backbone steady clashes is shown in this figure. But is that all? Are you sure you are not forgetting something? Yes. You are indeed forgetting something my friend, you are forgetting about the side chain, the peak side chain over there. So this forbidden region is applicable for the amino acid that has a negligible side chain, which is what I said. So how much more region is forbidden, forbidden due to the side chains? Well, again, let's find out. From the previous discussions, you have understood that there will be two steric clashes due to the side chain rotations. The first clash is between the amide group hydrogen and the side chain and the second clash is between carboxyl group oxygen and the side chain. Obviously, the, the extent of this interaction and the respective disallowed regions in Ramachandran plot would be different for different amino acids with different sizes of side chains naturally. But on an average, the general forbidden regions are highlighted here. These forbidden regions include the bottom part and the right hand side regions of the plot. So, finally our journey ends here. Here you can see the full picture. All the disallowed regions are highlighted and you can see the allowed region in the Ramachandran plot. According to the participation with secondary structural elements, the dihedral angles of the respective amino acids vary. So, different allowed regions of Ramachandran plot reflect different types of secondary structural elements. So, this is all for now guys. For further information about amino acids, please keep watching the other videos of BioPandit. Please feel free to contact us in biopandit.gmail.com and in our Facebook page with suggestions, requests for videos and asking for technical help. If you like our videos, hit the like button and help others by sharing it. For more updates, please subscribe to our channel and like our Facebook page. Bye guys, see you soon.